said that she hit her head on a table. You're not buying it. No, I'm not. She insisted that she was telling the truth and went on to tell me that she and her boyfriend were madly in love and tried to talk to her, but no dice. Did she ever say anything about Detective Jimmy Doyle? No, why would she bring him up? We're following the lead. We got video of Regina's boyfriend running away from the crime scene. I'm not sure if or how he's related to the murder, but he's the only game in town. We're chasing him. Well, she definitely didn't say anything to me about him, but uh, I was planning on calling her to check in with her, see how she's doing, so I'm happy to do some digging, if that would be helpful. Yeah, that'd be good. In the meantime, we're going to pretend that conversation already happened. Might give us an angle to leverage the boyfriend, Gleason, to cooperate. Yeah, we're the shot. Good luck with the investigation. I'll be in touch. Thanks. You know, it's hard enough uh, being a cop these days. Last thing we needed is losing one of our own.